kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part six of my video series on WhatsApp status saver using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So now we will start working for our uh, video uh, for the video fragment. So before uh, we do, let me uh, change something here because I forgot. So here, as you you can see that we had this thread. So now we also need to start this thread. So in order to start this thread, we are now can say dot start. All right, and uh, mm -hmm. now if you run the app, so you will be able to to display all the images which are the status of your friends. Okay. So but I am not uh, running the app. So, but I will do that after we complete the video uh, fra fragment. All right. So now let's go to frag uh, to video fragment, and it will be same as like this image fragment. Okay. So now here we can just uh, copy that and paste it inside our fragment video. Let me change it back to relative layout. And yes. And instead of this image, so we can say video, and also we can change the ID of our progress bar to video. And let's now bind our views. So here we can say the cycler view video, and we can say cycler view, cycler view, and also we can say. Progress bar video, progress bar video, and also let's just initialize our butter knife, and then we can simply say butter uh, second view dot set has fixed size, make it true. Then we can say second view dot set layout manager. Then we can say new grid layout manager get context, and we can pass the span count and count as three and then uh, this is the same like we can say get status videos let's create this method and let's just uh, copy all the code from our image fragment so yes so we just uh, copy it and paste it here but instead of this uh, get status we can copy it and write there and there we can check uh, okay so here we will do some uh, little changes so first of all let's just remove some of the errors which we can easily remove so here we can have the handler equal to new handler and then we can have this array list also so for this we can say just copy it and paste it here and instead of this we can say video model array list and we can initialize it okay and after this we can say we will have an image adapt uh, video adapter so we will create the video adapter here and after this uh, let me see where we need to change so here for the thumbnail we can easily copy it so this is the function method and we just say and instead of this we can say video model array list and we need to remove it okay because we want all the videos here so if is video will return true then we can just add them and instead of this we can say video fragment dot this 
and then we can create the video adapter here video adapter and we name it as video adapter and there we can pass our video model array list and then simply we can pass it here and we can say notify data set change all right so now we can create this uh, video adapter class so here we will have some uh, little modifications for our video adapter yes it will be uh, exactly the same so I will just uh, copy from our image adapter and I will just paste it so for this we can say extends and then we can say video adapter dot video view holder and then we can extend it with recycler view dot view holder and we can generate the default constructor and also for all these methods and for the image i mean for the on create view holder we can just change it let's just write okay so here we will have the same constructor so we will just copy it and paste it here and we need some of the changes because we need this video adapter here and everything will be same but here we will change the image list to videos list and instead of this image fragment so we can say video fragment video fragment and we can just change everything all right and also we can say video view holder okay so it is uh, that is it then we can say videos list dot size and for the uh, view holder class we can simply copy everything from there so we can say like this we copy it and then we paste it here okay so here inside our own bind view holder similarly we can say we will copy it and paste it so instead of image list we can say videos list and for the video view holder we can simply change it okay so it is very simple we just copy paste it all the the code from our image adapter okay so now everything is uh, sorted out but before we do this we can say progress part dot set visibility view dot gone and similarly we can copy it and we paste it here also for the image um, fragment we can say dot gone and we can finally say view dot cone all right so now let's uh, run our app and let's see the output
all right so i have uh, connected my phone and i will just uh, copy it and let me see inside our video adapter yes we started the thread and the app is now getting installed make sure that you uh, go to app settings and enable the storage uh, the storage permission and yes you can see the uh, uh, splash screen is shown up and it is says that dir does not uh, because i did not enable the user permission so i will go to settings then i will go to apps then i will select whatsapp status saver and i will enable the permission and now if i open the whatsapp status uh, saver and there you you can see i have all the statuses here and for the videos you can see all the videos are here all right so i think that is enough for this video so in my next part of the video series a video part i will do the download part of our app and th that will be the last part okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye